Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to The Pulse. We're coming to you live from our studios here in Kukum Limli. It's a pleasure to bring you this afternoon's edition. And it's all about our pockets as we gear up for an IMF program. Matters arise, and we're dealing with them all this afternoon. Let's start with some 250 million uh, US dollars, which is expected from the World Bank as support uh, to Ghana for the organizations and institutions that are affected most by the domestic debt exchange program. The finance minister revealed this exclusively to Joy News. Also, uh, we'll be hearing from the finance minister uh, who talks about progress on the IMF program. Um, he has been talking about um, the domestic debt exchange program uh, and um, the benefits that are hoping to be accrued for the organizations that participate. Um, the, uh, our response to the 250 million, you know, we are establishing a stability fund to ensure that we can intervene uh, in the event of any solvency and liquidity issues. Uh, the World Bank has committed to $250 million um, of that. Uh, and we are still talking with a number of donor partners, including the Africa Development Bank, um, for further resources. Government itself will put some money into that. Uh, we expect really um, later by the third quarter um, for at least the World Bank um, resources to come through, uh, working to accelerate um, Africa Development Bank and government itself's participation uh, in that. Um, so that's um, on the issue of the $250 million. In terms of um, the week, I think George will be able to testify himself. It's been a very positive week um, for Ghana. Um, the fund um, is very comfortable with where we are. We are all looking in the next few weeks for the Paris Club to come in with their finance and assurances. I'm uh, pretty confident um, that everybody will come through and um, the managing director of um, the IMF has committed that as soon as the assurances are in, they'll set up the board meeting um, and we expect to get a quick approval uh, from then on. Um, so on the fund side, um, I think it's been a very good week. Uh, but beyond that uh, was also the beginning of discussions with the uh, European investors. Finance Minister Ken Oforiata there. Now, he was also speaking at a press conference where he revealed that government is considering further expenditure cuts following what he says is a successful trip to the IMF spring meeting. Let's hear him. And what we know and that we are doing um, is that there were some um, outstanding um, instruments um, to, work, to work on. And that really was um, the Cocoa Base uh, from the Cocoa Board uh, and also uh, Government of Ghana and US um, denominated um, local bonds um, and the IPP debts. Um, those are just, um, I would say, um, continuing work um, that has been going on um, since the DEP was closed. Um, and, and those will, will continue until we get to an accommodation that makes sense for both parties. I think there was also uh, discussions about the pension funds um, which we were excluded. Um, we did indicate the last time or the MOU that we had signed with them. And we, we should be clear that in the MOU, uh, we agreed um, um, to pursue uh, mutually beneficial options within the debt sustainability limits, you know, um, as we continue them. So those discussions uh, continue uh, to be going on and we are engaging uh, them. So I'm not sure um, what the uh, interpretation of that to me in the second round of the DAP. Finance Minister Ken Foyata speaking in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh.